about Christians in the gay community. Watch this. When you limit Sodom and Gomorrah to simply a lesson on homosexuality, you have missed three things. Number one, Sodom and Gomorrah is not about same gender love. It's about violence and rape. A mob of men want to rape innocent men. This is not same gender love. This is violence. And when we talk about same gender love, if you equate same gender love to violent acts, you have disrespected the conversation. Him loving him is not the same as a mob of men trying to rape somebody. Not to mention that the Bible says in Ezekiel 16 verses 49 and 50 that the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah wasn't same-sex love. It was pride, gluttony, and an unwillingness to care for the poor and needy. The reality is that the Bible has been used as a tool of hate for a very long time. And that's why you have to read it for yourself. Let me know what you think. The event that the pastor is explaining uh, is mentioned in Genesis chapter 19. But what I want to do is I want to start before chapter 19 so that we can develop a proper understanding of Sodom and Gomorrah. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon as thou cometh to the raw unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom and Gomorrah and Atma and Zeboam, even unto Lasha. These are Canaanite people, Canaanite cities. What this means is that they were wicked people. In Genesis chapter 18, three angels are going to visit Abraham. God is telling Abraham that these cities are about to be destroyed. And the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great and because their sin is grievous. So the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah, the, these cities, was as a burden to God. Abraham begins to plead with God to spare the city. And he starts off with 50. If there are 50 righteous people, will you spare the city? And the Lord said, yes, I'll spare the city if I find 50. Now watch this. Then he continues to plead. In verse 28, he goes down to 45. What about if there's 40? What about if there's 30? Will you spare the city if there's 20? Will you spare the city if there are 10 righteous? And the Lord said, okay, I'll spare the city if there are 10 righteous folk. God said he would spare the city if there were 10 righteous people in the entire land. Now let's get into chapter 19. And this is a chapter um, that the pastor was explaining, okay? But he failed to mention the reason why the men a.k.a. The, the angels were in Sodom, okay? They were there because uh, they were to testify of the wickedness of this city. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold, now, my lords, turn in. I pray you into your servant's house and tarry all night. And wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, this is the angels responding, Nay, but we will abide in the streets all night. Verse 3 says, And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house. And he made them a feast, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. Being that they were young and old, this means this was a lifestyle of theirs, that everybody was a part of this lifestyle. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. So knowing them means that they wanted to have sex with them. Verse 6 says, and Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly the mob was basically all the men from the city the old and the young men from the city okay this was a lifestyle of theirs that they participated in and and let me say this if this was not about homosexuality why did lot offer his two virgin daughters to the men of the city verse 8 says behold now i have two daughters which have not known man let me i pray you bring them out unto you and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they 
under the shadow of my roof. If it were about rape, the gesture that Lot is making would have satisfied them. If it was about rape, they would have raped whoever. Okay? Please understand that. They wanted the men. They wasn't interested in sex. They wanted the men. They was involved in homosexuality. So many things are psychological. And what I mean by this is the words that people often use can either minimize or lessen the severity of a matter. The pastor minimized how wicked these people actually were. And he described their homosexuality as same sex love, same gender love. But I get it. Because same sex love, same gender love sounds so much better than homosexuality. But let me set the record straight. First of all, this was lust and not love. That's number one. Therefore, not only does the word love not apply here, but it does not change the fact that sexual activity with the same sex is homosexuality. Regardless of how innocently you describe it to be. Plus, God does not permit being promiscuous or, or having casual sex. God does not permit this. This is illegal. Perhaps um, this pastor, this preacher, um, is not familiar with, with, with Genesis uh, chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his image, and the image of God created he, him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. Here it is. And replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So the purpose of God creating male and female is for the purpose of procreation. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. So this is a running theme throughout the Bible. Man and woman marriage they become one and then they reproduce the gentleman that's doing the video uh he supports what the pastor says okay now watch this not to mention that the bible says in ezekiel 16 verses 49 and 50 that the sin of sodom and gomorrah wasn't same-sex lust it was pride gluttony and an unwillingness to care for the poor and needy the reality is that the bible has been used as a tool of hate for a very long time and that's why you have to read it for yourself let me know what you think the gentleman uses ezekiel 16 now, he says that this is why you must read the Bible for yourself, because the Bible does not support that uh, that, that claim of homosexuality in, in Sodom and Gomorrah. In Sodom, okay? Now, even though he mentions 49 and 50, Ezekiel 16, verses 49 and 50, he conveniently forgets to read verse 50. The verses actually read, Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. Now, let me say this. Anytime you have pride, you're saying that you're exalting yourself against the knowledge of God. You know more. You're greater than God. You don't need God. Okay, that's what pride will do. But now, here's the thing. Verse 50 says, And they were haughty, and committed abomination before me. Therefore, I took them away as I saw good. Because of all of these is why God took them away. Verse 50 said that they committed abominations. What is an abomination? Leviticus 18 and 22 says, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. The Good News Translation says, no man is to have sexual relations with another man. God hates that. Leviticus 20 and 30 is going to go a little bit further. If a man also lied with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Good News Translation says, if a man has sexual relations with another man, they have done a disgusting thing and both shall be put to death. They are responsible for their own death. If a man sleeps with a man, homosexuality, the judgment is death. Okay, so this is why, see, all of this is consistent because God doesn't change. 
This is why Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. 